Good evening to one and all. Today is the eighth winner of this series. Upcoming, uh, upskilling our nation's young workforce. Happy Republic Day to all of you. For today's webinar, we request very dynamic leader, district organizing commissioner, scout, state coordinator of messenger of peace and state coordinator of plastic tight turners, Mr. Bajanat Prasadji, to be the answers of the day. I welcome you and hand over you the, to this webinar. Over to Bajanath Ji. Dhanavad, sir. May Sir Pratham, Tehatrave, Gantan Tivashe, Ki Saviko, Hardik Badhai, Bharat Scout Guide, Rashtra Mukhale Kedwara, is webinar me, May Mani Nidesak Mohade, Ki Rajkumar Kosik Sarka, Hardika Vinandan Kartam, May Se Kaskam Ke Mukhavakta, Sri Vasu Sarka, जो लीडर ट्रेनर्स हैं मैं उनका भी हार्दिक अभिनंदन करता हूं साथ में राष्ट्रीय मुख्यालय के सभी अधिकारीगण का मैं इस कार्यक्रम में हार्दिक अभिनंदन करता हूं मैं इस कार्यक्रम के मन संचालक मिस प्रियंका साह जो पश्चिम बंगाल से हैं मैं उनका भी हार्दिक अभिनंदन करता हूं साथ में उनका साथ दे रहे हैं सीएच विकास जो एनएफ रेलवे से हैं मैं उनका भी हार्दिक अभिनंदन करते हुए मैं इस वेबिनार से जुड़े हुए सभी प्रतिभागी का जो YouTube चैनल और इस वेबिनार से हमारे इस कार्यक्रम को अपना सहयोग दे रहे हैं मैं सभी का हार्दिक कर हार्दिक अभिनंदन करता हूं और मैं आगे की कार्रवाई के लिए मैं मन संचालक सीएच विकास से को हैंड ओवर करता हूं प्रियंका प्लीज प्रोसीड Thank you, Vikas. Freedom in the mind, strength in the words, pureness in our blood, pride in our souls, zeal in our hearts. Let's salute our India's brave soul on the auspicious day of 73rd Republic Day. Very good afternoon and a warm welcome to all the respected dignitaries, guests, participants, and dear viewers who have joined us in the virtual celebration of 73rd Republic Day and Webinar 8, organized by Bharat Scouts and Guides. This is Priyanka Shah from West Bengal, and with me, Vikash from NF Railway will be today's Master of Ceremony. Wish you all very happy Republic Day. Let us begin today's program. I request everyone to please stand up for the general salute. Attention, salute, order, prayer begins. Daya kar gaan bhakti ka hume parmatma dena Daya kar gaan hamari परम ज्योति जगा देना बहादुर प्रेम की गंगा दिलों में प्रेम का सागर हमें आपस में मिलजुल कर प्रभु 
everyone i request you all to be seated now i would like to call upon mr analendra sharma assistant director northeastern region to deliver the welcome address over to you sir thank you priyanka am i audible to you yes sir you are clearly audible sir thank you with faith in our hearts an independence in our thoughts let's salute the nation happy republic day to one and all present 26 january is celebrated to commemorate the historic sacrifices that led india to be a sovereign independent nation every year on 26 january the whole country comes together and we celebrate republic day the bharat scout and guide the largest youth organization in the country with 6.2 million uniform members we see you all happy republic day very good evening one and all present in this webinar through zoom and youtube channel most respected to the chief guest dr rajkumar kausik director bharat scout and guide executive director mr krishna samyar all the professional of national headquarters honorable office bearers of bharat scout guide present in this webinar to encourage the spirit of the young people we welcome you all most respected mr speaker mr basu mb leader trainer scout from southern railway bharat scout and guide senior section engineer in icf indian railway welcome you sir also we extend hearty welcome all the senior trainers we can see in the webinar mr dr k sharma sir kamala kanan sir and many more trainers with us and state officials we welcome all of you bharat scout and guide india trying to the best to connect its member during the pandemic period and supporting the local community in various ways through the virtual platform we recognize many talented young and adult members who are asset of the organization and the nation today we has ms maina rao from rajasthan and mr amol prakash k from kerala we are the winner of singing fiesta we welcome all the talented member of bharat scout guide being a leading youth organization in the country the bharat scout and guide india always trying to create active responsible citizen and contribute in the development of the nation a series of webinar on upskilling our nation's young workforce started from 8 december and today is the 8th episode of this series we try to motivate a large number of young people to take up skill development training the training will focus on how to do something specific and result oriented in various field like 21st century skills proficiency basis career counseling today we are going to have our webinar on the topic proficiency based 
ambulance man and ambulance pass a very dedicated and skillful leader mr m basu with us to deliver the topic of our members will benefit with this webinar we welcome you sir also we extend hearty welcome to all the attendees all the panelists and all the viewers in our youtube channel to participate in this webinar before we go to the topic we are going to have a celebration of 73rd republic day wish you all a happy republic day once again and welcome you all thank you thank you very much thank you sir thank you very much for your wonderful welcome address well as you all know today is 73rd republic day and on this auspicious day we have one cultural celebration program on this republic day well let's start today's evening by hearing the melodious voice of miss maina rao a ranger from rajasthan bharat scout and guide and she is also a winner of singing fiesta which was organized by national headquarter bharat scouts and guide and i would like to welcome and call miss maina rao with your patriotic song maina the virtual stage is all yours all the very best no uh, because mind has some technical issue before that you can ask amol prakash i'll okay, call mind okay sir now we have another program of mr amol prakash he is from kerala state bharat scout and guide and he was also the winner of singing fiesta now i would like to call upon mr amal prakash ji with your patriotic song namaste a very good evening to one and all honorable director of bharat scouts and guides dr rajkumar kaushik sir respected resource speaker of today's session sri mb vasu sir sri anilendra sharma sir ms manya rao other distinguished dignitaries attending the session and your uh, brothers and sisters of scout and guide fraternity it fills my heart with great pleasure and honor uh, to attend this wonderful webinar session on the topic upskilling our nation's young workforce especially uh, when we are celebrating this auspicious occasion of 73rd republic day this webinar assumes a great significance and emphasis india uh, which is in its demographic transition and which is having the world's largest young population this uh, significance is to harness the demographic potential is of paramount importance and for that upskilling the young workforce assumes a great importance and vitality for this the educating the youth to achieve the appropriate academic physical and psychological competence and excellence is of critical importance swami vekananda has once famously said that education is the manifestation of perfection already in man to achieve that perfection is the duty and goal of each individual and scouts and guides as a world worldwide movement to emancipate the youth towards excellence has a huge role to play this in this mission it is indeed uh, a matter of great joy and pleasure that we are conducting such a productive session to enrich ourselves with the knowledge and experience of great personalities like shri mb vasu sir in this auspicious occasion of republic day when we engage in a mission to empower the youth towards excellence i recall a famous quote of former president of united states of america john f kennedy who once famously said quote and quote ask not what the country can do for you ask what you can do for the country so let us all take a resolve in this republic day to work our level best to make this great nation towards excellence and well being i would like to extend my sincere gratitude and thanks 
to all organizers for conducting such a for conducting such a session and inviting me as a uh, guest of honor and allow me to share uh, some thoughts and uh, i conclude my words with a few lines um, in praise of our great mother land ah ah na सुरगिनियों से सजा भारत अनोखा राग है सुरगिनियों से सजा भारत अनोखा राग है ये प्यार का संगीत है ये शादी का गीत है ये कथा का दाग है भारत अनोखा राग है सोरगनियों से सजा भारत अनोखा राग है अनोखा राग है भारत के इस एक तार पे गूंजे हैं जो जो राग ने सब मिल गई एक धुन बनी इस धुन पे नारा एक है इसका तराना एक है के राग सबका राग है भारत अनोखा राग है ये राग सब का राग है भारत अनोखा राग है सोनागिनियों से सजा भारत अनोखा राग है अनोखा राग है इस देश की रीत ये है हे डन एक ताल है इस देश की रीत ये है हे डन एक ताल में सुर अंगिनत गीत एक है देश सब का देश है सुर अंगिनत गीत एक है देश सब का देश है क्या बोल है क्या राग है सब गाये साग है सोरागिनियों से सजा भारत अनोखा राग है भारत अनोखा राग है बहुरूप में अनुराग है सोरागिनियों से सजा भारत अनोखा राग है भारत अनोखा राग है भारत अनोखा राग है जय हिंद जय जय हिंद जय हिंद जय जय हिंद वंदे मातरम वंदे मातरम वंदे मातरम वंदे मातरम सुजला सुभला मलय जशीतला श्यामला मातरम 
ವಂದೇ ಮಾತರ ಶುಭ್ರಜೋಷ್ಣ ಪುಳಕಿತಯ ಭುಲ್ಲಕುಸುಮಿತ ಭ್ರಮದಳ ಶೋಭಿ ಸುಹಾಸಿ ಸುಮಧುರ ಭಾಷಿ ಸುಜಲಾಂಬರದ ಮಾತರ ವಂದೇ ಮಾತರ ವಂದೇ ಮಾತರ ವಂದೇ ಮಾತರ ವಂದೇ ಮಾತರ ವಂದೇ ಮಾತರ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಫಾರ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಮೀ ದಿಸ್ ಆಪರ್ಚುನಿಟಿ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ವಾಟ್ ಎ ಮೆಸ್ಮರೈಸಿಂಗ್ ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಪ್ರಕಾಶ್ ಜಿ ಫಾರ್ ಯುವರ್ ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ ಸೌಂಡ್ ನಾವು I would like to call upon Ms. Maina Rao, a ranger from Rajasthan Bhadra Scouting Guide, and she is also a winner of Singing Fiesta. Maina, we are eagerly waiting to hear your wonderful voice. The stage is all yours. Thank you. Namaskar, you all have been here. And on the 26th of January, you all have been here. Today, I have been here with you. 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 तुम
Wow, what an energetic song. Thank you, Mayana. Would like to call upon our chief guest, our dynamic leader, Dr. Rajkumar Kaushik, the director of Bharat Scouts and Guide, to share his thoughts and enlighten us. Welcome, sir. Uh, thank you, Priyanka. Uh, my dear colleague, uh, Kishra Samiji, Mr. Walfu, then Maina and Mr. Aman, the winners of our singing fishta, all the trainers, like Mr. Kamla Ganan is also there, I think. And Dipti Madam is also there. And many more trainers are also uh, joined this webinar. So first of all, Happy Republic Day to all of you. And uh, I must congratulate uh, our Anland Sharma ji, assistant director of any region, for his thoughts for organizing such a nice uh, webinar for the nice subject because the proficiency badges are always uh, very, very important in the life of the scout. Because as per Biden Powell, uh, he told that uh, how to select the proficiency badge actually. Uh, the proficiency badge should be based on your hobbies. Because the hobby should become proficient and that proficiency should become a profession so that you can stand on your feet at your own. So thank you, Mr. Vasu, for taking so much pain and interest for giving guidance to our young people. And uh, on the behalf of our Chief National Commissioner, Dr. Kiki Khandelwal and our President, Anil Kumar Jainji, I wish all the youth a happy new year also, and as well as the, uh, again, uh, happy Republic Day. And uh, let us, uh, all of us should think uh, what we are doing, whether really it is good for the family, whether it is good for the community, and whether it is good for the nation. But it will be good only when it is good for you. Because uh, there is a proverb in Hindi that bhuke pet bhajanna hoi gopala, same way the charity begins from home. So first of all, we have to develop ourselves, and for that purpose only, uh, the birth guides National Quarter has taken initiative to provide the progressive uh, training for all the sections online so that uh, all of you can get the updated knowledge on the subject which has been given in the APRO uh, so that you can update it and also you can uh, pass it on to the other members of your group. Uh, whoever is attending, it is my humble request to all of you, share this knowledge with your other friends in your group or nearby whoever is, belongs to other group also. And we have now already given instruction that uh, whatever the training we are providing online, it will be made available to our YouTube channel. and. Uh, uh, I think within this week, uh, whatever uh, webinar has been conducted by us for Kabul Bull Rover Rangers and now Proficiency Badges, I think it is uh, second webinar. 
and now monday 24th uh, we are going to start the webinar for rover rangers also so everything will be available on our youtube and also i request all of you to must visit our bhg news channel uh, every sunday at 8 pm for english and uh, 8 30 for hindi and daily monday to saturday yoga channel, yoga channel and i assure you on the behalf of all the professional all our chief national commissioner and all the volunteers that national quarter will uh, not keep any way which will come in your way to reach to the golden arrow or to the rashtrapati award level and definitely uh, this webinar will be very helpful to you so thank you very much anil ji uh, for organizing such a webinar and uh, maina and aman both of you uh, i think your voice is very nice and uh, really uh, we are very proud that uh, you people were the winner of the singing festa and we hope that uh, in ne near future also uh, we will get more and more uh, uh, increase in the uh, singing capacity or in your tune so that we will have a proud of you all and mr basu i think you will continue with this webinar till the last and we hope that uh, all the proficiency badges not only for a scout guide even for kabul bull and rover rangers also will be covered uh, by us uh, and uh, once again uh, happy Republic Day to all of you. And I wish that the third layer will not uh, create any problem to all of us. And also, we all will be ready to uh, do our service to the community, to our family, and also to the nation. What promise we have taken uh, by becoming the Scout or Guide. So once again, thank you very much to all of you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for your blessings upon the members of Bharat Scouts and Met. Your inspiring words will boost our youths, definitely, sir. Now, it's time to introduce today's resource speaker for Ambulance Man Badge and Ambulance Man Proficiency Badge. He is none other than Mr. Vasu MB, sir. Vasu, sir, an experienced scouter. He has done BSc, PGD, personal, MGD, and Indian Relational Technically. He is in diploma in railway transport and management. And presently, he is working as a senior section engineer at Indian Coach Factory, Southern Railway. He joined scouting in 1976 and continued till 1979. He earned his highest award, that is Rashtrapati Award, in the year of 1989 from Southern Railway. In the year of 1990, he did his basic course for scout master and become scout master of VOC scout group, Indian Coach Factory, Southern Railway. Vasusa did his Himalayan Woodbridge course in the year of 1996. And he also did his pre ilt course in the year of 2000. He did his ALT course in 2008. And lastly, he took his ALT course in 2019. Under such assistance, more than 75 Rashtrapati scouts got promoted from VOC scout group. Sir is also assisting many regional testing camps and Rashtrapati Scouts award testing camps since 1996. So I would like to welcome 55 years young Vasu sir. Sir, the virtual stage is all yours. Thank you, sir. The most respectable and distinguished chief guest for the webinar and Republic Day celebrations. Dr. Rajkumar Kausik Ji, Director, Bara Scouts and Gates. I am saluting, sir, and our Krishna Swami Ji, Executive Director, who is in the webinar. I am saluting, sir, and other assistant directors of Southern Region and the Northeastern Region, Northern Region. I am saluting with the blessings of our director, sir. I am starting this webinar. The introductory speech about the proficiency badges. The system of proficiency badge was in BP, original system of training of young boys, and has always been a distinctive feature of scouting. 
young people giving extra proficiency in other activities of scout craft felt a desire to show their ability with a distinguishing mark, BP said. Bar Scouts and Guides provides opportunity to the young people from age of six, that is from cubbing to rowing and bulbul to ranger and aid to character training and to development qualities of good citizenship. BAG offer young men incentives for progressing along with the lines suggested by his own tastes and abilities. APRO part two and part three of the BAG enlisted more than hundreds of proficiency badges. That is for Cub and Bulbul 22 badges, Scouts and Gates 100 badges, Rovers 54 badges and Rangers 56 badges, areas comprising character, health, hobbies and handicrafts, service, conservation and technology. The badge acts as, uh, acts as an incentive to the extent boys' knowledge in any of the subject that interest him. Aid to the enjoyment throughout his life and leads through the career. The badge provides a ready means of encouraging to everyone in such a wide range of subjects to retain his self-respect and self-confidence. Higher awards of groups of proficiency badges like Rajabhaskar Award, President Scout Award will contribute for the continued and progressive training of Scouts. Bar Scouts and Guides providing opportunity to the young people to earn extra proficiency in every level of advancement. For example, after the years open, a boy is a scout who earns six badges, that is card system, blue card has been awarded by the Assistant District Commissioner. After Trithiya's open, if he earns a scout or guide, he earns 12 badges, he has been given golden card, it will be awarded by the District Commissioner Scouts. After Raja Praskar, a scout earns 15, other that gates also earns 18 badges, he will be awarded by the golden card, that will be awarded by the District Chief Commissioner. After Rashtrapati Scout, if he has more five badges, the golden the jungle book that is in the olive green card in the place of gold, gold card, it will be replaced. It will be presented by the district chief commissioner. All the badges are selected by them based on the interest and skill of the young people. Badges are tested by the examiners who are experts or professionals in the respective field. Scouting is an educational movement based on the scouting, based on the learning by doing. Proficiency badges added value in their academic career, surveillance skin, and making professions to making money. We, Bar Scouts and Gates, providing opportunity for young people to explore the knowledge, practicing skill, preparing a logbook and binding in an attractive manner, and facing the examiner to test their skills. This experience bringing the success for the life trained by Bar Scouts and Gage. In this webinar, today's topic is the ambulance man proficiency or ambulance proficiency badge. Now we're going to PPT. So that today the webinar series, the series of webinar is upkilling our nation's young workforce. The topic is already I introduced the, about the proficiency badges. Baron Paul published this thing for boys in 1908. In that part five, chapter eight, he deals with the, he is giving chapter name, saves heading, saving life. He wrote three yarns, that is campfire yarn 23, and that is called, be prepared for accidents. Campfire yarn 24 deals help to doing a, that, that is a accident, how to deal with the accidents, 25 helping others. Now, this is the, by the end of the webinar, the participant will be able to answer the syllabus up to 30th open first day. Next one, you have to deal with bleeding, that major bleeding or minor bleeding, and bind a broken limb, deal with choking, emulate manure, Demonstrate structure making and transportation. Send a message, verbal or written by telephone. 
Why it is called as ambulance man or ambulance? A first aider who drives his knowledge to save life or to stabilize the condition and transport to get medical aid to the casualty. Here, the knowledge, attitude, the knowledge, skill, and attitude involves. If you know the, for the cops, you can call it as first aider back. When he became a scout, he has the knowledge, he has the skill, and his attitude to serve the community. So the first aider is the is, is called as a ambulance man badge in the border scouts and gates. What is the definition of first aid? First aid is an immediate help to the injured person or sudden illness person when before the doctor arrives with the available material. You can ask injured person where you can make inju injury that is road accidents, sometimes in schools, some uh, playing football, driving a vehicle or fallen from the balcony. These are called comes under injured. It, injury may be happen in the factories, in the offices, like that. The sudden illness means a boy who is sitting in the class immediately getting fainting, falling over the floor. That is called sudden illness. Sometimes boy is getting vomiting. Sometimes he's stealing stomach. These are called sudden illness. Whatever it may be, that he should be given aid before the doctor arrives. This is called definition of first aid. The aim of first aid to preserve life. The aim of life is the aim of first aid is preserve life. The second one is prevent the condition becoming worse. And third one is promote recovery. All the cases, it doesn't mean the life will be threatening. A small cat, it doesn't need a threatening of life. Life is there, but you should not lose the blood. Second one is. You will prevent the condition becoming worse. A small fracture, if you disturb more and more, it will become uh, multiple inju injuries to promote recovery. Further that, yeah, if your boy is fainting, let him give some uh, water as a tea and make him to send him to doctor. This is the aim of first aid. Now, the rules of first aid. There are small basic rules. Do first thing first. That is, if you are seeing a random of uh, uh, casualties like uh, absence of breathing, there are a lot of bleeding. Uh, sometimes a fellow is always shouting, yeah, save me, save me like that. And one fellow is uh, not at all responding, is in unconscious, whom you will first, first you will see who is not having breathing and who is, uh, second one is bleeding, like that sequence, you have to do first thing first, that how you have to do is quickly, quietly, and without panic. That means you have to do confidently. It should be quick, quickly and quietly you have to do it and reassure the casualty sympathetically. If anything, even it is a major wound, you should say, no, no, it is a very small wound. It is very small wound. It is nothing happened. You don't worry. We will go there like that. Then check for the ABC. Then uh, check for the ABC. Avoid handling unnecessary, casualty unnecessarily. You should not disturb. If leg is broken or leg is injury, you should not uh, remove the shirt. There is no meaning. So don't uh, handling the casualty unnecessarily. Arrange for speedy transportation. Nowadays, you are having one or eight. There is no problem. Now, the important thing is basic life support. What is basic life support? The basic life support is ABC. That means airway, breathing, circulation. Before that, previously like that, now we are adding up D R A B C, Dr. A B C. What it, D stands for danger. There is a danger for you and danger for the casualty. If you are fired, human is on the fire, he will approaching to you. If he is approaching to you, what will happen? He will catch you because he is already in the fire. That is danger for you. What is the casualty's danger? A person who is electrocuted already, he is fall down. If you touch, you both will be in, in trouble. That is, you find the danger in the associated casualty. Then what is the response? R is response. How will you find the response? Now, another one, another A. A for the airway. Airway, you know, for to survey, first thing is we required air. Air is going through nose and it reaches lungs. Lungs purifying the uh, it, uh, it, it absorbs the oxygen and mix up with the blood. 
heart is doing pumping, the circulatory system. Uh, then how to check breathing, whether casualty is breathing or not, how will you check? Then C for circulation. Previously we were telling circulation, nowadays it is changed as CPR. This, this process is called primary survey. Why you should do primary survey? Because we should prevent the biological death. See what is biological death? That, the, that brain is needs oxygenated blood within four minutes. In the absence of four to six minutes, all the vital organs will deteriorate their condition. The functioning of vital organs will slow down. So this is called primary survey. To avoid biological death, you must do first doctor ABC, then you have to go for everything. Now I can give video clippings over that. In that video clipping, you can see how to check the response level, how to open the airway. That our throat, the airway, you know, it is in a right angle that will be in the visual and how to check and how to check the CPR. I'll go for video visual. Now we are going to assess the casualty. The, how to assess the casualty? Now we are approaching towards, towards the casualty and we are seeing. Now we can shout. Shout over. Yes, yeah, sir. Hello. Hello. What is your name? What is your name? Can I up? After the shouting, he is not responding. Then you have to shake. Hello, what is your name? What is your name? You can next one, third one is you can you can slap like slowly. He is not responding still. Then you can pinch another way. You can pinch the any soft skin. Then it will make if any sense, he will immediately he will respond. Another one, you can make a pen and you can drag like this, then you will have a small response. And also it is not responding, then sometimes we have to take the, focus the light over the pupa and sometimes it will, it will die, it will strengthen, then it will respond. That is the, these are the assessing of a casualty. Now I am going to tell about the basic life support. So this is very important. The basic life support is A, B, C. At present we are calling it as B, R, A, B, C. B for danger. Danger means danger for you or for the casualty. I can give an example. The casualty who is electric attack and he has been found fallen on the ground. Whether he can go on to touch, he can go and touch. But before that, we have to, he is in danger. If you go lively you touch the casualty, you will be in trouble. So switch on the power cut and then remove the cable. Remove the cast or remove the case. In this case, we can remove the cable away and we can give treatment for the electrical person. Or if someone is drowning, you don't know the drowning, you know the drowning is from casualty is going inside without knowing swimming. Uh, if you want to help, but you don't know how to swim and go to nearer to the casualty. So down here the casualty is in danger. So if you don't know the swimming, if you go, you also go inside the water. So here danger for you because you don't know the swimming. So this is called D. Uh, then next already I told about the response. Are you for response? How to find the response level of the casualty? Now I, I am going to present A. What do you mean by A? A is airway. Our airway is just one 90 degree thorax and it goes straight to the lungs. Now it will be some bend, it will be like the bend. So how to open the airway? That is very important. How to open? Head head singlet. This is head and this is chin, both ways you can open. Likewise, that airway will be opened here. Now, 
Next is going for B. In this B, you have to be for breathing. You have to check the casualty is breathing or not. How will you check the casualty is breathing? Now, here, look, listen, see. You have to look, you have to listen, and you have to see. Go closer to the casualty's nose. Your ear is closer to the nose of the casualty. That is for and also you should see the chest walls are raising as well as you are going to listen the air coming out. Also, I can feel the air which is coming, coming out and touching my chin. So, I can ensure that he is breathing. If he is not breathing, the chest wall is not open. Chest wall is not raising. So, you have to, again you have to see whether there is a block in the area. So you have to again check the area. Open and see what are everything hidden inside. This is the way how to open and how to check the breathing. Now we are going for C for circulation. How will you check the circulation? Here, Adam apple. From Adam apple, the near to the throat and the face like this. Near below the lower jaw. If you touch like this, you are having the beat of the heart, that is the carotid, which is blood is flowing to the brain. It will be in both sides. So, if circulation is not, nowadays we are seeing for CPR. Immediately, if circulation is not there, immediately you can start CPR. So, I will perform CPR. So, now you can understand what is danger B or A, B, C. B for danger, R for response. A, open the airway. How to open the airway? and how to check the breathing and how to uh, give CPR. If no, that is, if casualty is not having breathing, not having circulation, immediately you have to perform CPR. If the, if the casualty is having circulation, but breathing is not there, having circulation, breathing is not there, just to give mouth to mouth resuscitation. For drowning purpose, you have to do mouth to mouth resuscitation. If he drinks the water, drain out the water first and you start immediately. Open the airway, pinch the nose, give open and more than 10 blows, you have to keep on going until the chest, chest, chest wall should rise. Up to 10 blows you have to give. This is only for mouth to mouth resuscitation. In the absence of breathing, we are doing, but the casualty is having circulation. I'm going to demonstrate about the CPR. I already told in the absence of breathing and in the absence of circulation, immediately we have to perform CPR. CPR means cardiopulmonary resuscitation. That is nothing but the ventilation and compression. We are going, we are giving two inflations and 30 compressions. The 30, and it is the 100 compressions per minute. That is little bit faster than a second we have to give compression. Now I am going to demonstrate. Now already I told how to open the airway. I, I head tilt, chin lift, over the head and chin lift. I have opened this and I pinch the soft part of the nose and then I I keep my mouth over the mouth. I have to take two breath in. And then while going, you have to see the chest walls are rising. Always close while below. Before blowing your air inside the mouth, please pinch it his nose. I can see the trace rewards are rising. So my airway is open. Now I am now I am going to perform two inflations. I'm 30 compression. <laughs> now how to place the place the compression? The heel of the palm should be placed you should place the fingers towards the floating ribs and it will reach the sternum. After the sternum, place two fingers, keep your palm, heel of the palm, and, and keep your hands straight and 
So now scope of first eye. The scope of its first eye consisting three parts: diagnosing, treatment, and transport. How will you diagnose the casualty? It is very simple. History. What is mean? What do you mean by history? Listening the casualty, collection, collect information surrounding the casualty. I, if you otherwise, you can ask for the bystanders, and you can see what will happen. Generally, if you don't know, you can ask. Otherwise, you can assess what will be happening. Then uh, you, you can see whether it is a bleeding, whether it is a uh, fracture, or the casualty is replaying like that. So, so you have to collect the information. Then what are the symptoms and signs? What, is, what do you mean by symptom? Symptom is nothing but what casualty tells. Or uh, like what, the, what you can tell, sir, I am getting pain here. I am getting cold. I am unable to lift my hand. I lost this uh, sensation below the feet. I, I am getting abdominal pain. I got thrusting. I feel like nausea. I want to vomit like that. I had a, a giddiness. I had a fainting. I had stiffness. I feel weak. These are the symptoms. These are the things referred by the casualty. The sign means the first aider can see. Yeah, simply I told you, know, when you see the casualty, whether there may be a bleeding, there may be a swelling, the painful expression by the casualty, response to touch. If you touch, you will shout. If there is a sprain, you will shout and you will respond to your speech. And uh, Abnormal, abnormal skin color, the bones, bones will have a reddening and there will be swelling. If you had a fracture, you will get swelling. That and all what first aider can see, deformity, comparing with other hand. There is a foreign body protruding inside the body. There is a needle mark, some insect bite, there is a needle mark is there. He may vomit, if he is unconscious, he may fall down. He is, uh, Mouth is full of vomit. That and all you can see by the first aider. And you can feel the temperature also. Now, it is very simple. But why I am taking this content of the first aid box? It is nothing but the content, first aid box contain 
compulsorily roller bandage, triangular bandage, cotton, sterilized gauze, adhesive plaster, crib bandage, elastic bandage, and a pair of scissors and tweezers. These are the important thing. The optionals are odomas like that, my parasomal are optional only. So if you are, they are asking question, what are the contents? The people will, will have to write cotton, roller bandage, triangular bandage, adhesive plaster, medicated plaster, crib bandage, like that splints. These are the very important things. It is to be kept in first aid box. Now we go for the second requirement, how to control bleeding minor and major. That is nothing but the wound. What is wound? Wound is the breakage in the continuity of the tissues of the body, which does escape the blood. I said escape the blood. Blood is, that is the volume of blood is continuously going inside the, circulating inside our body. If there is a breakage in the continuity, immediately blood will come out as well as the foreign material that is germs will entering into our body. These are the condition for a wound. And another thing, there are some dangers in the wound. I, these are the very, very dangerous. The loss of blood. I said there are five to six liters volume of blood is there. In a circulatory system, it is going on pumping, heart is pumping. If the heart is not able to pump due to the decrease in the level, instead of five, see, five to six liters, if you last half a liter, it is nothing. If you last two liters beyond, your vital organs functioning is come down, it slow down. That condition I will deal later. And another one is infection. Even it is a small wound, you must take care. How to take care? I, next slide I will tell. If you not forget to take care, it will lead to infection. Infection means don't think that, that uh, germs which goes inside and your white belt cor corpuscle, WBC will fighting and it will form in the pus. If you leave as it is, the, you, you are, that part should not be useful. Then if you go to doctor, it will become amputation. There are, I can say, when you, there is a minor bleeding or major bleeding, you must know what is bleed, how the blood will be. There are uh, circulatory system, the nerves carrying the blood, the artery, vein, and capillaries. How artery? Artery is the rich in oxygen, bright in color. It is the rhythmic of the heart beating and veins. Veins is a steady flow. Veins are steady flow. That is in dark in red, that less in oxygen percent. The capillaries, capillaries are the minor, uh, minor way, uh, uh, nerves, which it is not a bleeding, it will oozing only. These are the types of bleeding. And then there are types of wound. The majority inside for us, our syllabus, there are incised wound, that is another name is cuts and lacerated wound, that is scratches. And you can learn also puncture wound, gunshot wound, contused wound. Contused wound means it will hammering and over your finger. It will no bleeding. Internally, it will become clot. The puncture wound means binary charge. The, uh, a, a, a nail is spoken into your leg or the hand. That is called puncture wound. A stabbing the, with a knife. That is also a puncture wound. Amputation, it is completely cut off. These are the types of wound. Now, when the, there is a wound, how to control bleeding? That is very important. If there is a small cut, you can clean it. You can give direct pressure, keeping the sterilized dressing over the wound and elevating. It will reduce the flow of blood and you can tie a bandage and send him to doctor. That is called direct pressure or another name is digital pressure. Elevation also, we can reduce, control the bleeding. Indirect pressure. Indirect pressure means when there is an amputation, cut off, from your body, <clears throat> whether artery or vein is cut off from your body, it will give the rhythmic flow or a uh, steady flow, it will loss of blood will occur. So we have to stop the bleeding by indirect pressure. Sometimes cold compression, internal injury, you have to apply. For I told there is a contused wound, you have to apply ice over the wound, send him to doctor. Now I am going to see how to control the bleeding by indirect method. Indirect pressure means we have to apply the pressure over the pressure point. What is pressure point? Pressure point where an artery can be compressed, underlying bone, <coughs> which prevents the flow of blood beyond that point. The every, everywhere nerves are going, but some of the places that, that it is underlying, it is be, behind the bone. So if you have a compression force, you can stop the flow of blood beyond that point. That is called 
uh, abdomen gabo, lower abdomen, you can have temporal, you can forehead, facial, carotid. I told in the first display, I told carotid, subclavian near the collarbone, brachial, that is humerus bone behind that uh, upper arm, then radial, ulnar, femoral, which is the biggest uh, when an artery is going the lower part of the body, carotid is the biggest artery to the brain. Then next pressure point, next, next slide. What do, how do you treat? Wash your hand firstly. Clean your hand. This helps avoid infection. And you have to stop bleeding, either direct method or indirect method. Minor cuts automatically blood will stop. Clean the wound. I told wash the wound, wash the wound, wash the wound. And put a sterilized dressing over the wound. Control the bleeding, tie bandage and send him to doctor. Every time you have to watch for infection. If it is a major bleeding, you have to treat for shock. Now you can ask, what is sir? What is the shock? I already told the volume of blood is five to six liters. The human in a, in a human system, there are a lot of systems are going in human body. If you take a circulatory system and a respiratory system, nervous system, digestion system, like that you can keep on selling. Nearly 13 or 14 systems are there. But if there is a volume of blood decreasing due to some other reason, the resulting is. The, when the volume is decreased, your heart is trying to pumping the blood throughout the body. It will have a very good strain over that. So that syndrome is called shock. The shock is the sudden depression in the vital part. Otherwise, one sentence, I can say the shock is the depression in the vital functions of the body. How it becomes depression? Because of the deficiency in the circulatory system due to the loss of blood or severe injury, or heart attack, loss of plasma, severe bands, and electrical shock. There are two types of shock. You can ask two shock or established shock. <clears throat> that is the real shock. That condition is very worse. If you leave as it is, he may go to die. So one that is called, it is related with the circulatory system. The another one is nerve system. That is the temporary emotional upset. If you say, Karor Patya Agya, yeah, you had a lucky dip, you had 10 crores, then it's a shock and it, it will relax and then that is temporary, it is the emotional upset. It is not related with the circulatory system. Then what are the signs and symptoms of shock? <clears throat> Very simple, pale color, cold, calm skin. Your temperature will fall down, becomes face will be become pale. Why? Adrenaline, that, that one hormone is increased, and it will divert all the capillaries to the vein stream or the artery stream. So the capillaries will not getting the flow of blood. Then it becomes pale color, rapid breath, difficult in breathing. <coughs> pulse becomes slow. You cannot predict the pulse at first. Later, it will be very fast because pulse is nothing but the heart weight. Then you, you cannot be, that can be feebler. Later on, you are not able to detect the pulse rate in the radial ulnar. Rapid heart beat because of heart is functioning, try to develop the pressure, the pumping the blood throughout the body. And also it is a sign of vomiting, feeling nausea and shell shock, uh, severe shock. When it was happened, severe shock, the already I told the response level, if you put the light over the pupa, it will dilate. Then he becomes unconscious in latter stage. What is the treatment? Nothing. Reassure the casualty. First you have to reassure. Nothing will happen. Very small thing. You lay down. First you lay down the casualty. Reassure the casualty. Treat for shock. What, 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 which account it was shocked? Whether loss of blood or loss of plasma or whatever you have to find and you treat for that one. And lay the casualty as leg raise and position, that head lower position. Why? Because the 20% of the blood is accumulated in the lower body. So if you raise the leg, the blood will flow. It will go to the vital power. That is the, the heart will function smoothly. Then loosen the tight cloths, wrap in blanket, send him to hospital. Why you should wrap in blanket? You should not, the temperature you should not last so that, and, and always you give sip of water, but don't give anything tea or something because it is a head injury or some major injuries, he has to undergo some uh, operation. So you should not give, better you should not give, a chip of water you can give. That is the treatment of the shock. <coughs> now, 
I will go for the. Now I am going to demonstrate the head bandage or scalp bandage. There is a injury over the head. There is a not much bleeding. You can keep the stabilized because. Now we are going to keep stabilized because. I am going to demonstrate the. This is the cast. We are going to place the overhead. This is the control the bleeding, and uh, we are going to tie bandages. The bandages are used to retain the dressings in its own place, and it will also absorb the discharge. Hold like this. Now, this is uh, we are going to demonstrate the triangular bandage. Which is made of linen or calico cloth, not less than one meter square, cutting into diagonally, getting two pieces. The largest portion is called base. This is called base. This is called sides of the triangular bandage, and this is called point. It has two ends. Now we have to take hem the bandage, hem the triangular bandage, and place the place the hem portion at the center. And take it back and bring the two ends in front of the center of the forehead. Keep tight, it not. Then pull it back. Then pull it back. Then you have to put it not. This is called head bandage. Or call bandage. The end should be cutting neatly. In the behind. You have to pull it again lower. Now I have to put a triangular. The again should be kept neatly. Tuck it inside the bandage and put a safety pin over that. This is called. This is called head bandage or scalp bandage. Okay. I am going to demonstrate palm bandage. There is a injury over the palm, and it is just a bleeding here. Ask the casualty. Hold it. They are giving. Pressure over the wound and controlling the bleeding. After that, we have to take the bandage. The base should be kept in the bottom of the hand, and the end should place the end of the triangular bandage and safely cross here, and it should be cross over here. And keep the ring knot here. And this is called here also. We have to put the ring knot. Then it should be tucked neatly inside that. And keep the end here and put the one small safety pin over there. And here we should not leave as it is. And take him to the elevate the injured part. Elevate the injured part, and you can keep like this and send him to the doctor. This is called palm bandage. I am going to demonstrate palm bandage. If there is a injury over the knee, knee cap, the small scratches or some bleeding, a hard thing that, then we have to put the Three bandages. Ask the casualty in a sit comfortable position. Then place the triangular bandage. Ask the casualty. Now hold the empty triangular bandage and take it here. Cross. Inside and bring the end to the front end. Then underneath 
means you have to touch the plate and put one safety pin. In the chest, put the safety pin over there. So this is called knee bandage. Now <coughs> we are going to deal about bonds and skulls. What is bonds and what is skulls? The result of destruction of skin due to the direct or indirect of thermal forces, that is heat. We are walking on the roads with the sunlight, but we are not getting any, any problem. No problem we are getting. But there is the excessive heat which distract the skin. That is called burns. Burns are caused by dry heat. What, are the, what is called by dry heat? Dry heat means fire, flame, hot vessels. If your mother is cooking, uh, cook the food in a cooker, he kept it as it is, unknowingly touching the hot vessel cooker or how any hot vessel, hot that if you touch, it will get, that is called dry heat. Hot iron box, you know, that there is a, a candle, flare. then the running rope, friction from a running rope. This is all called dry heat. That is in solid state. I, another way we can call it as a solid state, it's our dry heat. Then skulls. Skulls are caused by moisture. Moisture is nothing but the liquid state heat. Uh, for example, hot oil or boiling water, hot tar, steam. These are all comes under skulls, but the reaction is both are same, but how it was happened, it is different manner. That is called burns and skulls. Now, what are the types of burns? It is thermal burns, chemical burns, electrical burns, and radiation burns. What do you mean by thermal? Already I told, because of the heat, it is called, whether it may be burns or it may be skull, it is called chemical uh, thermal burns. That chemical bonds, chemical bonds are because of the hydrochloric acid. I want to hold the slide for one minute. Excuse me, sir. ஒன்னாக்கி <laughs> 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 Okay, thank you. Sorry for interruption. Now the types of one already I told the thermal bonds. Another one is chemical bonds. Chemical means you, you take hydrochloric, uh, that means sulfuric acid, it, it gives uh, nitric acid, it will give a lot of bond. That is called chemicals. Electrical bonds, that electrical percent, if you, if you go for a high voltage, that 11 kV, our body will charge. Charge means uh, it is bond completely. Sometimes, yeah, domestically, we are using uh, in house 230 volt, it will give. Uh, that, that the hand will get electrocuted, the color will be very black, and then radiation. Because of the radiation means the, some furnace, furnace they are working. There, uh, because of the radiation or that uh, atomic power, there is a leak in the radiation rays that is called radiation burns. And mainly for us, we are having burns and skulls only. In then, wow, what is the, how many degrees of burn? What are the degrees of burn? Degrees of burns are, First degree, second degree, third degree. The first degree bonds is reddening of skin. First degree bond is reddening of skin. Second degree is blister formation. Third degree is charring of tissues. I can see the picture. I, I can uh, see show the uh, degrees of bond. You see first degree reddening. Then second degree, you can see the blister forming. 
The third degree is charring of tissues. The heat waves are the heat which transfers and uh, partially affect the epidermis. When the second degree, it goes inside the it goes inside the dermis and partially affect the epidermis so that the plasma is coming over that and pull the heat. And the third de degree is the charring of tissues completely burned out. Then treatment of burns. Pour water. It is very, very, very essential. You pour water, immerse in running water. After you remove, open the tap and keep the burnt area for continuously, thoroughly for 10 minutes. While cooling, always cooling, check ABC. Because if uh, loss of plasma, it will become sharp and it leads the uh, circulatory or if, uh, loss of plasma means you are under shock the respiratory system will be failure. Then gently remove the rings, watches, belts, shoes from the injured area before it swell. Because the swelling, at once the swell, it, not, it will not be happened. It will take uh, 10 to 15 minutes or half an hour or next day, first day it will be reddening. The second day if you see there is a small bulging shape is called blister formation. So cover with sterile dressing, don't apply any lotion, don't break the blisters. Some people will break the blister. Some people will put the ink, no use. So immediately, if there is a burn, you pull the burn, that's all. That took 10 minutes, not five minutes, one minute. You have to immerse in water for 10 minutes. Then only the heat will, uh, cannot penetrate inside and it will not affect the dermis or epidermis. Then, here I want to tell one thing. If the human is caught a fire over him, that is very dangerous. Already I told danger. Because when they had bonds in their body, uh, they are running to get the help from the others. So if, if they, what will they do? They will catch you. So that is the very dangerous thing. So if the first aider, you have to take a blanket towards your, your chest. First aider says, with the wet, wet condition, go close to that and wrap him, drop him, roll him, pull him. That is the condition. Otherwise, if a, if a person is not fired, then go behind with a blanket, with a wet blanket is okay, cover the, wrap the casualty, drop the casualty, roll the casualty, then you pour water, so much of water. Because mostly in our India, 40% of burns may be saved. 40% of burns casualty may be having chance. In European countries or foreign countries, 60% of burns, they can save the life because there are no infection here, lot, lot of infection. Not only that, when the heat is penetrated through your body, mainly when that entire body is burned, that rule of nine will be followed. There is a rule of nine. These are dealt very higher standard. When they are putting calculation uh, like that, that is called rule of nine. When, why? Because they will die. When heat is penetrated through inside your body and it will damage your vital organs like intestine or the liver or uh, uh, I can say lungs, heart, kidney. If any vital organs is got damaged, all interlocked and you will be put in death. death. Now, nose bleeding. What do you mean nose bleeding? Nose bleeding is nothing but the, you can see <coughs> how nose bleeding was there. Just you have to stop the nose bleeding. How you have to stop? Head lean forward. That is the main condition that you, you, I am telling when there is a nose bleeding, head down forward, pinch the soft wall. The treatment of nose bleeding. Support the casualty in sitting position, comfort position with the head slightly lean forward. Insect him, breathe by mouth. That is very important. If you pinch the soft wall, how can he breathe? Ask him to breathe by mouth. Pinch the soft parts of the nozzle for 10 minutes. Up. Apply cold compression over the nose. Don't disturb the blood which already clotted inside the nose, but clean, clean the bleeding around the nose and send him to doctor. Next one. You can, uh, here you can see stings and bites. What is a sting and what is bite? Now we are going to see stings. Our largely what we are going to see stings means we know only two things are uh, our, we are facing problem in the domestically. So what is that? One is B and one is VAS. Both are different poison. That is very peculiar. There are two times alkali and base we can say, but for us not uh, that much depth. What happened when the B is 
have a sting bee sting that barb it that is a venom it will give the patients inside the body it will give it will pump the venom in the patients uh, that is casualty so thus it will penetrate inside and it we will have pain and the swelling if you leave as it is casually if five or 10 bees are biting if you leave casually without taking treatment it leads to anophthalmic shock and it is very fatal and another one is wasp wasp will not leave any sting inside the body but that venom bag which spread the venom over the layer of the surface which is resulting very burning sensation over the skin and reddening slightly swelling but on whatever any account you should not wait apply that is apply ice over the wound to reduce the swelling and reduce the pain also but uh, that that is the i can give one shot for bees you can buy bicarbonate of soda we can use for bee for bicarbonate vas for vinegar i can suggest as a first aider i can suggest every one's house we are having calamine lotion that uh, where our ladies are having uh, some uh, liquid facing uh, putting uh, over the face that is called calamine lotion it will the very best uh, remedy for the stings of the insect stings it, it will neutralize the poison that, that is called stings now we are going for dog bite the, uh, all these are comes below the tritius open level then what is dog bite the, it is very dangerous but all dogs are not dangerous which dog is very dangerous to see that the, the dog bite is treated as a very dangerous because there are some virus found in the saliva of the that virus is called rabies rabies is a virus found in the saliva of the mad animal not only mad animal means it may be a jackal it may be a horse it may be a monkey it may be a dog it may be a cat whatever may be but that virus found in the saliva of the mad animal that animal is getting mad so it will bite every human or everything what they see so if our subject is dog bite observe the dog for 10 days chained and kept under observation for 10 days the dog is healthy then no problem then hey yeah, however you should go and get the see the doctor the treatment wipe the saliva from the wound see here for dog bite you have to wash the wound plenty of with soap water it is very very important before going to doctor we are not a doctor we are a first aider what the scout or guide has to do is wipe the saliva wash with plenty of soap water continuously send the casualty patient to the hospital for anti rabies venom uh, anti rabies treatment there are uh, latest modified treatments are available but also you should observe the dog for 10 days this is the about the dog bite now snake bite <clears throat> what is snake bite there are 2500 varieties of snakes found in the around the world but in our india we are having 250 250 varieties only found in the india that too is that too very four are very poisonous that poisonous are cobra kraith viper and sea snake here you can see the punch mark you can see the punch mark how there is a if you see the needle at the tooth above the tooth there is a small bag is there <clears throat> that is the venom bag when it is biting that venom is spread into the body and it will affect it mixed with the circulatory system is very dangerous now <clears throat> what is the how it will be like that a pair of punch mark severe pain at the site of the bite redness and marked swell that the spot will be marked that the two twigs round marks is very swelling condition at the site of the bite and feels nausea and vomiting it is a long breathing labored breathing in extreme cases breathing may stop and the casualty will tell blurring vision that is disturbed vision 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 cannot be seen that it can disturbed vision that is glossiness vision it may develop increasing in solvation and heavy set sweating is there so what do you treat how will you treat the patient reassure the casualty even though it is a snake bite you tell hey, it is nothing it is a thorn why you are uh, afraid and hey, you can take care don't afraid but reassure is very very important for the casualty prevent the spread of venom through the body never allow him to walk you should not walk 
that is the very main thing if you walk circulatory system gets faster so it will the reaction will be very more wash with the wound flush with lot of water cover the wound with sterile dressing check to always abc because it is a poison now the snake is a poison you treat it as a poison if possible you take the arranging to hospital so however you can take the the snake with you for the, for the easy assessment of what type of snake to the um, hospital now nowadays we uh, anti venom injection is available in all the hospitals so if possible if you take the you, you, you what people will they do immediately they will kill the snake so if possible you take the snake with the doctor he will identify what type of snake and he will give the treatment now we are going for spray what is spray spray is nothing but the tearing of ligaments around the joints due to sudden jerk and stretching mostly around the ankle you can have the ladies who are having newly worn the high heel chappal they are walking with stail and it will have a small injury over the joints and almost in the uh, ankles only uh, uh, that why it is becoming very uh, uh, regularly happen in the ankle only because the entire weight is suspended on the ankle joint only so the, uh, this is the tearing of ligaments so what will be the symptom it is a big swelling definitely immobility and it will there will be a sharp pain already i told pain pain here why i am telling sharp pain if you move little bit it will the shock will reach your brain like that that is called very sharp pain and how will you treat the sprain treatment for sprain is the rise procedure ask the casualty to rest either sit or uh, 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 lay the casualty give ice cold cold give ice and compression see for compression or otherwise the triangular bandage or narrow bandage whichever is uh, dip in the cold and you tie the a uh, figure of eight over the ankle and you must elevate the injured part that is very very important this is called the sprain now here heat stroke uh, there is one syllabus heat stroke and sun stroke it is causing the failure of thermostat in the brain yeah, the brain is controlling all the organs the body temperature even if, when you are going uh, coming from the hot condition when you goes inside the ac room automatically body is converting into that temperature that is the, that is a ther- god nature god is uh, uh, made us like that there is a thermostat is working to control the temperature Pro- why that temp- the thermostat is getting failure because of the prolonged exposure to the very hot condition 40 to 43 degree you are prolonged standing on the heat like that so illness involving very high fever you can see that malaria will give more than 104 degrees uh, fahrenheit it is very very high then body become dangerously overheated body should not so what the doctor will advise nowadays if you have a very high fever put wipe uh, dip the cloth put keep on over the forehead continuously observing and take him to the doctor for the heat stroke, heat stroke the people will always say when they are walking along the hot condition they are going work because they said there are some headache is there i got a headache like the dizziness discomfort plus even we, we feel in the summer that is there are some discomfort restlessness confusion are very very boring why this much of hot like that flushed with the dry skin you know what happened if the temp- heat stroke because our body temperature rising gradually more than 40 degree centigrade that is called heat stroke what, what is the what we can do the thing you can wrap in cool the body that's all and send him to the doctor immediately you have to send the send him to doctor so he will find why due to malaria or some other reason why the temperature is going on so he will find out and he will treat what as a first aider you have to cover the cover him with a blanket and keep pulling him first now we are seeing choking what is choke choking choking is nothing but the obstruction in the windpipe there are two pipes are going one is going air and one other is uh, food sometimes that food particles or any foreign body is stuck over windpipe it blocked the windpipe what it seems it is very very difficult in breathing 
they are unable to speak also so what we will see we had a, we had a very wrong practice slabbing over the head that is not correct so what you have to do is first cough encourage to cough you have to encourage to cough and then slab between these scapula i will put one video short video in that how you will going to slab between the scapula or if while you are slabbing also it the foreign obstruction party will falls down and you will be getting ready to breathe so however you have to take to hospital and one other procedure is there that is called emlich manual that i will demonstrate if it is if the casualty is unconscious we have to perform abdominal thrust now now going to perform the emlich manual that is for choking for an adult casualty we found difficulty in breathing and is not able to speak also we have to encourage to make him cough cough it is not coming out now i am going to give back pressure in between the scapula like this i am seeing that my metal is not coming the block of metal is not coming then i am going to perform the abdominal thrust in the navel point keep your hand like this give the abdominal thrust five times then see whether it is coming out coming out so now it is coming out now casualty is breathing properly i am sitting comfortably and is sending to doctor this is called amelich manual so now i am going for another heading that is called fracture so what do you mean by fracture the fracture is nothing but the a small crack is also called a fracture airline crack is also called as a fracture the breakage in the bone is also called a fracture whether it is maybe a crack or the breakage in the bone is called fracture how the fracture will occur there is a force which acts on directly to the bone if there is a femur is there tibia is there humor is there if any force that directly falls on the humerus or that bone will be getting broken that is called direct force another one is indirect force indirect force means the force which acts not actually on the spot it will result in the weakest portion i will give one example if your boy is falling from the tree or balcony he landed like this the hand is putting over that and legs are landing but uh, legs are not broken hands are not broken then collar bone will broken that that collar bone is the brittleness more brittleness bone in the body there are 206 bones found in the human body now i'll go what are the types of fracture first i can see what is simple fracture another name is closed fracture in the name itself you can see closed fracture mean i can see the a, uh, a uh, the picture a is showing bone is broken but it is not protruding outside the body so there is not be any bleeding but what will there it will be a swelling is there pain is there then comp comp compound fracture compound fracture means or open fracture that compound fracture means bone is broken and it is protruding outside protruding out any it tear the tissues there will be a bleeding there will be a fracture uh, everything is there the loss of bleeding will be there pain will be there swelling will be there and the third one is complicated fracture this is very dangerous the complicated fracture means the bone is broken and it will damage the vital functions or organs of the body you know what are the vital organs our brain is vital organ lungs is vital organ heart is a vital organ intestine liver kidney these are the vital organs you know when there is a pelvis bone broken or a crushed injury over the ribs that it will puncture the lungs the ribs are broken then you can you, you latest one a uh, stampede in the vaishnav devi the lord told people are that because of there is a uh, crushed stampede the what will happen then during the jam that bones wrist bones will be the for the aged people bone is very brittleness then rib bone fracture and it will injure the vital organs lungs like that 
So it is called complication. Giving the complication, it is called complicated fracture. Now, there are varieties of fracture that is called a comminuted fracture. The bone is broken into several parts, not a one single part like that. Broken into number of several pieces it is called a comminuted fracture. Impact fracture means the bone is broken due to the elongity, it will overlap to one another. It is called impound, uh, impact fracture. Depressed fracture means there is the bone, it will be happened in the skull only, a weight object, more than a, a very solid object will fall on the skull bone, that is a head, a skull injury, the bone is slightly bent inward like that, it is called a depressed fracture, then green stick fracture, green stick fracture is nothing but the, it will happen for only infants under the age below three or like that, because bone will not broken at the time, it will make the deformation or the light slight bend. We cannot find it at the time of fallen. After that, it is uh, resulting the various uh, uh, formity will be there. Now, sign and symptoms of fracture. Definitely pain will be there. Swelling will be there. Loss of power. He cannot hold properly. If I have forehand is broken, he cannot hold properly. And there will be deformity. If you compare both hands or both legs, the legs will be deformed. It, it has a different dimension. And then irregularity. It means what? If you move one, one end, it will go another end. If you take a leg, a thigh bone fracture, that is femur fracture, what will happen? Thigh bone is a single bone which connects the hip joint to the uh, up to ankle. When the thigh bone is fractured, the leg, that is feet, will be averted. That is called averted foot. They will call as averted. Then you can diagnose easily. That is be maybe the thigh bone fracture. And then always treat for sign and symptoms of shock. Always you have to treat for shock. Then treatment of fracture, control bleeding. You have to control, if it is a open fracture, you control bleeding. Tell the casualty not to move. You should not move. If you move, it will make further damage. So treat the fracture on the spot. Always treat the fracture on the spot. Steady and support the injured part. You have to support the injured part steady. So you have to put apply slings or you have to put the splint and you have to steady the injured part. How will you support? You put, use, uh, use slings uh, to support the injured. You mobilize the using bandages. You always arrest uh, above and below the seat of bandages. It will restrict the movement above the joint and below the joint. Then treat for shock. Always apply slings. Sling is support the, I, I told already, steady and support means you have to apply slings. Then you treat for shock. Never attempt to bring the bones to normal. You are not a doctor. So you have to try, I will pull and I will tie bandage. Don't do all these things. Just you assume that it is a fracture. Just giving sprint over the uh, bone, uh, providing a padding and tie above and below, send him to doctor. Now, in this uh, video, we are going to see uh, arm sling and the triangular sling. Now I am going to demonstrate the arm sling. Only three points to be kept in mind. The arm sling, the sling is used to support the injured arm or injured portion. And also it should immobilize the two joints. It will restrict the movement also. Now I am going to demonstrate how to put arm sling. Already I told the base is the largest portion. Then now what you are going to do is I told one end and one point. Keep the triangular bandage like this. One end should come to the this end. This should be straight. And keep the other hand like this. And take the other end to the here and tie this knot over this collar bone. So yeah, this knot should be placed over the collar bone and pull neatly the two fingers focus outside and keep the safety pin here. Over here. This is called a 
arm sling or you can call it as suspension sling when you have to put arm sling when there is a forearm fracture here it should be this should be 90 degree and the finger should be focused outside now i am going to demonstrate triangular sling or another name is senjan sling here when we are going to put senjan sling when there is a collarbone fracture or upper arm fracture we are going to put triangular sling here we have to keep in mind first place the arm now i am just demonstrating triangular sling only first keep the arm like this and place the triangular bandage the base should be straight line like this then keep gently lift and take it to the other end and tie na leaf knot tie leaf knot on the other end of the injured side that is sound side of the another collar bone now neatly tuck inside tuck inside and keep the safety pin over here this is called triangular sling now i am going to demonstrate the collar bone fracture the fracture will happen by direct force or indirect force or muscular action the direct force means force act on the bone and it will be having break the fracture is nothing but the breakage of bone or crack in the bone is called fracture now i am going to deal with collar bone fracture the collar bone that is very brittleness it will often broke due to the indirect force because from the tree top if he fell he landed his hand but here forearm fingers nothing will happen just the brittle portion of the collar bone will fracture for which we have to give one it will be comes down so that now we are going to leverage the arm pit just to make a roller object keep the under the arm pit and keep on broad bandage so first i have to tie the broad bandage the knot should be in front here put here straight knot Tuck me, please. Then place your arm like this and put the triangular sling. Already I told very short. First to place the hand and the base portion is the perpendicular. Lift gently. Take it the other end to that collar bone side. That is good collar bone and try lift that. You have to touch neatly here back of the portion. Now we put one safety pin here. So this is the treatment for collar bone fracture. Here you have to put the safety pin. Is there any doubt? Now I am going to demonstrate. Now I am going to demonstrate how to broken a limb. Here we are going to see the leg fracture. How to treat the leg fracture? I already told the bone is broken or crack is called fracture. Now while assessing him, he is telling he is not able to move his leg. So this leg is perfectly okay. When I am touching. He is making shout. He is making shout. 
So here I found a very small swelling over here. So I am going to treat the this right leg is fracture. The leg means from patella to ankle. Now I am going to demonstrate how to insert the right leg. First I am going to using screens to place the triangular bandage. Now there is a natural cavity below the patella, there is a hollow, hollow space, below the ankle there is a hollow space and below the hip is also, a, also one hollow space. Now I am inserting the here like this right side. now I bring it, it is like that but this is the broken leg I bring, bring the closer to the sound leg closer to that I can keep the padding also I can keep any padding also notebook, papers or some blankets, towel uh, I, now at present I am not having but you have to keep it now you have to pull like this the top layer you have to like this and remove this bottom piece. First you have to place below the like this you have to move and if close that one. So now one, one triangular bandage is placed. Another one I place two, two, two bandages, another one third bandage in the kneecap, below the kneecap. I just inserted and pulled that back and pull the strain. And this is in the tie portion. And another narrow bandage using the screen, I am inserting like this and pull it over other end and I move this to the above the seat of fracture just you have to move like this so this is the seat of fracture next one another one narrow bandage I am pushing it inside the kneecap hollow space with the use of the When I remove this, I pull it back. So now, all the bandages are neatly placed. First, I have to put the figure of eight bandage close to the good leg, close to this, like this. Put it not here. and neatly tuck inside first at ankle and then go to the thigh and thigh bandage Not and patella, patella means kneecap. And above and below the seat of fracture. So it should be tucked neatly, it should be tucked very neatly like this.
ओके दिस इज द ऑर्डर ऑफ द बैंडेजेस फॉर द लेग फ्रैक्चर एच टी ई एल एल अब ऑन बिलो द सीट ऑफ फ्रैक्चर फर्स्ट अरेस्ट द दिस जॉइंट विच इज द साउंड लेग फर्स्ट एट फिगर ऑफ एच एट एंकल अनदर सेकंड बैंडेज एट टाई कैड पेटल और निक और निक है and above and below the seat of fracture and move the casualty immediately with the structure method and transport to the doctor anything anything doubt so before that uh, i want to uh, give one uh, that uh, for narrow bandage i used to hear narrow bandage uh, generally if he is an adult we can use broad bandages Because being is a small boy, I use narrow bandage. Because if I use broad bandage, all that leg portion will be covered. So for that purpose, I use a narrow bandage. So that that is the order of prayer for the leg uh, leg fracture. Now I am going to on the screen. We are having transportation method, single first aider. What are the types of single as a single first aider? Human crutch. The casualty is conscious, able to walk, but it needs support. Human crutch. cradle he is not un he is unconscious but little weighter you can lift then cradle pick up bag he is conscious but it is a, it is also you can take in the pick up bag fireman slip and dragging method these are the single first aider you can do it two first aiders four and after method uh, and uh, two hand seat three hand seat four hand seat and two barrier structure method I I think I will continue with it. Ten uh, minutes. I will conclude. This is a video for tra tra transportation with the first aider, single first aider and two first aiders. First thing is structure making. Here we are doing the structure. and now they are checking the structure whether the bamboo stick that is there is able, able to carry the uh, casualty so they are testing the structure then on another one they have to pin the safety pin they have to put the safety pin here that now is called a single trailer now we are going to see the cows are coming human trailer yeah. the casualty is able to walk but it is semi unconsciousness this is cradle method and this is called fireman slip now we are going to demonstrate the transportation with the two first aiders now we are going to perform two and sit now i am by crossing my hand another first aider is holding the hips hip side hip belt okay then beneath we have to hold like this this then lift So we have to take same hand. Now we are moving in narrow passes. Now I am going to demonstrate three and seat method. The casual is concept able to sit and a small leg injury. Then how we are going to carry the casual thing? This is called now I am going to perform three and seat.
so uh, before concluding my session and this is the a word to the examiner in case of life saving proficiency badges such as first aid for cops ambulance man and ambulance for scouts and guides especially never compromise on quality and i hand over to thank you for giving me opportunity i will hand and close to the handing over to the uh, before that if you are having any doubt you can use the chat box for the doubts uh, that tmc may can uh, help to get the uh, questions is there any doubt Uh, Basu sir, you can announce about your Google form where they can put their doubts and questions. Google form, sir. Uh, you are preparing one Google form, no? That link uh, and you can share. Okay, sir. I I'll, I'll give, sir. I'll give. Okay. This is some question. So Google form is shared. Is there any out uh, they can ask uh, uh, regarding the syllabus that I have covered uh, up to from Thursday's open to um, I covered almost all. If any doubt regarding that, uh, they can ask the doubts. I, I, I am uh, uploading my Google Forms question that it will be objective type that anybody knows the app, please answer. Thank you, Asa, sir. Thank you very much for your informative session on ambulance maintenance. Hope Thank you. our students' doubts were clearly clear, sir. Now, I would like to call upon Anima Daimari, ma'am, for the promotion of Ajadika Amrit Mahasar. Ma'am, please. Thank you, Vikash. Hello. Good evening, everyone. And I also would like to wish you all a very happy Republic Day to Honorable Assistant Director Analendra Sarmazi, Honorable Director Rajkumar Koshik Sarzi, Honorable to the Speaker Basu Sir, and Honorable all the dignitaries, panelists, and YouTube viewers. Now I would like to share a short video. I hope you will enjoy it and just have listened carefully. Just a minute. So here is the video. हिमालय जिसके सर का ताज है, गंगा जमना जैसी नदियां जिसकी बाहों में लहराती हैं, हिंद महासागर जिसके नित चरण पखारता है, ऐसे महान राष्ट्र भारत देश के समस्त नागरिकों को वंदे मातरम
जय हिंद भारत स्काउट्स एंड गाइड्स के स्काउट्स गाइड्स रोवर रेंजर्स और सभी यूनिट लीडर्स को हमारा प्यार भरा नमस्कार भारत के प्रधानमंत्री के आह्वान पर तीन ऐसी अनूठी प्रतियोगिताएं आपके सामने रखी हैं जो सचमुच आपके दिल में बसती है माँ की लोरी में देशभक्ति का रंग और ऐसी ही लोरी हो आपकी कलम से लिखी जाए समर्पित हो तमाम उन माताओं को जिन्होंने भारत माँ के स्वाभिमान के लिए अपने कलेजे के टुकड़ों को भारत माता के चरणों में समर्पित कर दिया एक ऐसी ही लोरी आपको रचनी है भारत के विभिन्न रंगों से सजी एक रंगोली सजाए और दिखाए दुनिया को कि ये मेरा भारत है इसके रंग अनोखे हैं एक ऐसी प्रतियोगिता रंगोली प्रतियोगिता आप उसमें भाग लें और भारत की आजादी के अमृत महोत्सव के रंग उसमें उकेर दें और दोस्तों जब भी हम अपने देश की बात करते हैं आपके मन से कोई तराना निकलता है आपकी रूह कहती है कि रंग दे बसंती चोला माँ मेरा रंग दे बसंती चोला तो आइए दोस्तों आपके दिल में छुपे उस देशभक्ति को एक रूप देते हैं कोई पंक्ति लिखते हैं कोई गीत लिखते हैं कोई कहानी लिखते हैं कोई कविता लिखते हैं और भाग लेते हैं इस देशभक्ति गीत प्रतियोगिता में देश के लिए लिखा हुआ एक साधारण सा शब्द भी महान होता है तो आइए दोस्तों आगे बढ़ते हैं और ये तीन प्रतियोगिताएं जो भारत के इतिहास में पहली बार पहली बार आपके सामने रखी गई है इसमें भाग लें और करें खुद को समर्पित अपने प्यारे देश को तभी तो कहते हैं ये धरा चाहिए ये गगन चाहिए खुशहाल मुझको अपना चमन चाहिए मैं जीऊ तो तिरंगे की खातिर जीऊ मरू तो तिरंगा का फन चाहिए जय हिंद जय भारत वंदे मातरम Okay, now next, I just would like to explain in details about how to take part in competitions. So here are the steps. First of all, first step, go to website. Then after that, next step, go click on competition. All right. So whatever competition you choose that is contained like Rangoli, Bhakti Geet and Lori. So you have to click on. Then after that, next. A competition page will show. Then here, three competitions are here. Then after that, four steps. You have to click on participate now. All right, you have to, four steps. You have to click on participate now. Whichever content you are doing, you have to choose it there. Then after that, uh, five steps. You have to fill your name, number, whatever you find the options, you have to fill it up properly. And there you will find uh, associated options. Then strictly you have to click on bsg okay dear participants remember strictly click on participants then after that you send for request otp then you will upload whatever your content is then after that six after uploading Sixth step is to download your certificate. Okay, so before that, uh, remember that five steps. There you will find many languages. So that if you don't find in English, you have to click on other. Otherwise, you will find all the languages like Hindi, Urdu, everything own own language. So you select it and clicked on. That's all. So. Those who have done already, congratulations, and those who are yet to participate, all the best.
and good luck thank you so much that's all about participating in quiz competition thank you ma'am may i request the executive director of bharat scouts and guides to deliver his speech and encourage us Uh, greetings to all on the occasion of the 73rd Republic Day. Today's subject, first aid or ambulance ambulance man is a life saving skill. Especially first aid has to be updated at least at every six months or one year gap so that we get the latest information of the first aid please don't think that ambulance man or anything that you learn on first aid is to get a proficiency badge or qualify for it in scouting for boys as wasu sir has explained bps very clearly state get ready for emergencies or accidents or how to save people so our job as a scout, as a citizen of this great nation is to help other people whenever we have an opportunity. The COVID has created a big emergency. And if we all had the knowledge of first aid, many lives would have been saved when we were not able to reach the hospitals. It may be a snake bite, it may be a sting, but not having the knowledge was a failure for many people to lose their lives. Therefore, the efforts of Barra Scouts and Guides in bringing down the knowledge at your doorstep through these webinars are to help you to become contributing citizens and to make you and your family to be safeguarded against any eventuality that may happen you can slip your leg while you go to the bathroom you can get a burn while you cook your favorite food or when you watch the beautiful garden that you have made a honeybee or a wasp can sting you therefore learning first aid is to empower you by yourself Next step is Bara Scouts and Guides has now taken up general duty assistant, which is something like of a career nursing to skill our young people through our first project under DDU GKY in Haryana. We also look forward to help our young people to get more opportunities for their livelihood. You may explore the industrial safety guidelines of government of india if you have a certification by the red cross society or st john's ambulance you can register with some of the industries where you will be given opportunity similarly you can also register yourself with your local civil defense organization to serve the community as a first aider. Fortunately, we have been not facing war or warlike situation in the country. Therefore, there was nothing for the air raid precautions. However, it is always better. Let us learn the skill of first aid so that we help first ourselves, our family, and make it a livelihood by becoming a professional first aider and joining the industries or in future schools where they may regularly appoint first aiders or general duty assistants for safety of the children coming to these schools. Thank you all. I wish all the participants good time and thanks to the organizers of this event and the efforts of Sri M. B. Basu, leader trainer of Barra Scouts and Guides, who took pains to prepare good videos so that even if his delivery was only in English, you could see and learn.
once again a happy republic day thank you all thank you sir thank you very much for your thank blessings you, thank you very much sir and knowledgeable advice sir now i request mr bablu goswami assistant director of eastern region bharat scout and guide to deliver word of thanks sir please once again i request bablu sir to deliver vote of thanks sir aap apna mic unmute kar lijiye गुड इवनिंग सबसे पहले आप सबों को गणतंत्र दिवस की ढेर सारी शुभकामना अ वेरी वार्म एंड चेरेस्ट इवनिंग टू आवर मोस्ट वेस्ट राजकुमार कौशिक सर डायरेक्ट भारत स्कॉर्स एंड एक्स मिस्टर कृष्णा स्वामी आर एग्जीक्यूटिव डायरेक्टर ऑल द प्रोफेशनल्स एंड मेंबर्स ऑफ भारत स्कॉर्स एंड गाइड्स यूट्यूब व्यूवर्स एंड एवरीवन इट इज माय प्रिविलेज एंड टू प्रपोज अ वोट ऑफ थैंक्स एंड एक्नॉलेज द कंट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ दोज हु वर्क हार्ड टू मेक दिस टूडेज वेबिनार ग्रैंड सक्सेस in spite of covid pandemic situation on behalf of the bharat scouts and guides national headquarter i would like to thanks and sincere gratitude to our chief guest dr rajkumar kasik director bharat scouts and guides and mr krishna swami r sir direct executive director who honored this webinar with their inspirational and motivational thoughts and words i would like to express our sincere thanks and gratitude from core of heart to our resource speaker and mentor of this webinar mr mb basu sir leader trainer scout southern railway and who transferred and shared very important information and knowledge about ambulance man badge to our young members those who are attending the webinar on zoom and bsg youtube channel sir your presence make the webinar more meaningful my sincere gratitude to all our office bearers who are present in this webinar i also express my sincere thanks to young talented youth icon of bsg winner of singing fiesta miss mayana rao from rajasthan and mr amal prakash k from kerala for their kind presence and presentation very melodious patriotic song which make the webinar more colorful to celebrate the public day i would like to thanks to professional of bharat scouts and guides for their kind cooperation and priceless support i would like to thanks and sincere gratitude to sri alanand sharma sir leader of this project up skilling nation youth force for effective telecasting and uh, managing the project our sincere gratitude goes out to all parents and well wishers for your rock solid support system and encouraging their children to attend the webinar without your support the children were not able to excel thank you very much for joining this event i sincere thanks to very experienced and trained leader trainers of bharat scouts and guides sri drk sharma sir kamla kanan sir 
and D. Puran Chandran sir. Finally, I would like to thank my budding rock star, our MC Priyanka and Vikas, IT team members, especially Gunajit ji and uh, Jeet Bhos, publicity team who made this event happy with their impressive performance. Also express sincere Mr. Bajnath Prasad ji and Mrs. Anima Eka Madam for their continuous support. My thanks to Almighty Guide God for making today's event a grand success. By his blessings and grace, we are able to make the event what it was and pray for his blessing so that we can enjoy the normal life as the before pandemic. The, the essence of fruits is always tested in the last and we believe that the last will be the best. We would like to thank to each and everyone making this webinar a memorable one for all. Once again, thank you. Thank you so much to all of you. Thank you, sir. Next, I hand over to Sir Vajnath Prasad for the next part. Thank you, Pinkar. Abhi, aapke is webinar se samandhi jo aapka feedback form hai, wo aapke checkbox pe dal diya gaya hai aur आपके जो ग्रुप है उसमें फीडबैक फॉर्म डाल दिया गया है उसको आप जल्द से जल्द फिल करें हां एक चीज ध्यान देंगे कि यूआईडी नंबर आपका सही होना चाहिए अगर यूआईडी नंबर आपका सही नहीं पाया जाता है तो आप प्रमाण इस वेबिनार के या कोई भी वेबिनार का प्रमाण पत्र लेने के हकदार नहीं होंगे तो सही ढंग से आप अपना फीडबैक फॉर्म में यूआईडी अवश्य भरें धन्यवाद over to PHB Kassar. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Now we come to the end of today's program. So I hope that everyone learn new thing about ambulance man proficiency best from our speaker. Thank you for very much for joining with us. At lastly, I request one and all to kindly stand up for the national anthem. Janagana mana adhinayaka jayahe Bharat bhagya vidhata Punjab Sindh Gujarat Maratha Dravida Utkala Vanga Vindya Himachala Yamuna Ganga Utchala Jaladhitaranga Tavashubha Name Jage Tavashubha Ashish Mage Gahe Tavajaya Gatha Janagana Mangala Dayaka Jayahe Bharata Bhagya Vidhata Jayahe 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 Jaya 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 Ja